Hey, what's up guys? It's John with RussellMarineProducts.com and today we're going to talk to you about Humminbird and how to network your units. Alright guys, here we are. Now we're going to show you how to set everything up, how to get these units talking, how to share those waypoints, sonar. You're going to be able to share down imaging, side imaging. If you've got a mega down imaging unit up front and a side imaging at the back, you're going to be able to pull that picture from that console unit that's giving you side image and actually view that up front. So let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, I've got a Ethernet cable. Okay, you can get these in several different sizes, 5, 10, 15, 25, and 30. So just make sure you get a long enough cable. It's never going to be a straight shot, so just take that into consideration. We'll go ahead and drop part numbers down below. And if you, if you need to pick one up, we've, we've got these in stock for you. Uh, second thing you're going to need when we're talking about the Helix line of units is going to be this adapter. Or you'll hear it commonly referred to as a dongle. What this does, it takes the Ethernet uh, port in it and it adapts it into the Helix port that will go on the back of the unit, the Helix connection. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll link this as well. You'll hear this one referred to as a dongle or the adapter. This is going to be the five port switch. You'll need this if you're connecting more than two units. If you've got two units, all you need is the last two items that we talked about, the ethernet cable and the dongle. Okay, so this is gonna allow you to connect a third, fourth, or a fifth unit. If you've got uh, iPilot Link, Ultrex, if you've got a, an original 360 or any sort of Ethernet accessory, you can run it through this box. And then obviously we've got some Helix units. Um, so networking is going to be the same whether this is a generation one, two, or a three. So, but in this case, we've got a couple Gen 3 units. So uh, that's the parts that you're going to need, and we'll go ahead and show you how to hook it up. I'm going to start out with the Ethernet cable that we talked about earlier. I'm going to grab this adapter or the dongle and I'm going to connect these together. So now our Ethernet cord has a Helix connection. We're going to plug that into our Ethernet port on the back of the Helix. Now the other end, if we're going into the five port switch, does not require an adapter. It'll just plug right in. So if you're going into the five port switch, this is all you have to do. Make sure you have a long enough cable like we talked about earlier, but that's it. You need the five port switch, the ethernet cable, and the adapter, okay? If you're going from one unit to the other, just the two units. We're going to run the Ethernet cable. Okay. The adapter back into the Ethernet port. and just plug it into the ethernet port on the back of your second unit. Okay, so you have your adapter, your ethernet cable, another adapter, and that's all you need in order to get these two units talking to each other. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run it as if we were using the five port switch. So if you've got, like I said, three or more units, that could include an Ultrex. If you wanna run the link features, which I highly recommend, you're gonna need this five port switch if you've got two units, okay? So, my 10 right here is in port number one on the five port switch. My nine back here, we're gonna run it to port number two. If I want to add a third unit, fourth unit, or a fifth unit, I'll just use one of these three 
open ports. So now we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on the screen. I've got these units powered up. I've got a transducer plugged up so you're going to be able to see all the networkable or the shareable information. I'm going to show you guys how to get there. First thing we want to do is get to our main menu. How you access your main menu from whatever screen you're viewing is you hit the menu button twice. Okay, so we're going to do that. Menu, menu. And then we're on the, you see we're on the network tab, but you'll have to scroll over to the network tab and go to network source setup. And then you notice here on 2D, you see the Helix 10, which is this unit, but you also see the Helix 9, which is this unit. So this is a down imaging unit. It will never be able to run side imaging, um, you know, a side imaging transducer rather but I can share the side imaging from the nine inch unit once these are networked. Um, so I think you guys are pretty comfortable with how to do that. Now what you would need to do if you wanted to source, let's say side imaging for instance, we'd come down here, select the Helix 9, we'd use our right cursor and you'd see that check mark appear. So now when you go through your views tab, you're gonna see side imaging appear and that's gonna be sourced from from the side imaging capable unit. All right guys, we went over all the parts that you're gonna need to network your Helix unit. We went over how to install all the parts, and then we went over how to source the information from each unit. So hopefully you guys are a little bit more comfortable with networking your Humminbird Helix than you were before you saw the video. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section below. Feel free to give us a call you can reach us at 316-313-4113 or shoot us an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. And until the next one, we'll see you on the water.